Hey there, this is the one boom, and the gameplay you're seeing in the background is Doom. God, have I loved playing Doom recently. It's just such a fun game. This update has changed it for me, so you might see Doom in the background of my upcoming videos. So today, I wanted to talk about something that I have found stupid for a very long time. Um, and I actually used to do it as well. So this is coming from somebody who used to say this all the time, and you can read the title, you saw the thumbnail. It's better with friends. And this is of course in reference to disliking a video game and then being told by somebody, hey well, it's better with friends, did you play it solo? Now arguably there's a lot of good games to play with friends. Ghost Recon Wildlands is fun to play with friends. Rainbow Six Siege is more fun to play with friends. Call of Duty is more fun to play with friends. Oh wait, everything is more fun to play with friends. During the Destiny 2 beta, I was told by several people, it's not fun to play solo, you gotta play it with your friends. First of all, I enjoyed the fuck out of the first Destiny, whether my friends were online or not. So you can name a game like Arma, oh you want friends to play that with, you want people that you know to play that with. Uh, sure, but also Call of Duty is just as fun to play with friends. Halo is fun to play with friends. This is, okay, so basically the problem is, Everything in your life can be made better by friends. Not is made better, can be made better. Sitting on a front porch by yourself? Lame. Sitting on the front porch with your friends? That's fun, you're hanging out, you're laughing, you're joking around. Going to Walmart by yourself? Lame. Going to Walmart with your parents? Lame. Going to Walmart with your friends? That's not lame. Opening a can of Pepsi and drinking it in your backyard is more fun with friends. So how is that an actual point to make when talking about a video game? Alright, so you guys know I play Squad, which is a tactical military shooter. You don't need friends to play Squad with. I never feel like I need to get friends online. Now, I would like to have friends to play it with. Like, I would like friends to play any of my favorite multiplayer games with. Because I know that friends can make anything better. Telling somebody that, oh, you know, you don't like Battlefield? Well, you should play it with your friends. Well, sure. Even if you like Battlefield, you should play it with your friends. They'll make anything more enjoyable. Here's the real crux of it, though. If a game requires you to have friends online, should you spend your money on it? Well, this game's only fun to play with my friends, and all of my friends are busy tonight. Guess I won't play the game that I spent good money on. If a game is only fun with friends and the solo experience is just monotonous and garbage, then why would I buy that? I don't want to purchase an experience that is better by a circumstance. My ideal game is a game that's fun and enjoyable to play with friends, but I can just hop on and play it whenever I want because it's designed to be played either or. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, Squad, Doom, Neverwinter when I used to play it. A game's fun, a game's experience should not rely on your friend's presence. I just don't think so. And it's stupid to point out that friends make it better because friends can make anything better. Friends can make chores better. Moving out of a house can be made fun if you have friends to do it with. Doing hard manual labor, going to work, is more fun with a friend. So when you tell me Destiny 2's beta is only fun if you have a friend to play it with, what you're saying is Destiny 2 isn't fun unless you have the thing that makes anything fun. Then why the fuck wouldn't I buy the game? My problem with Destiny 2's beta is not that I'm not having any fun, it's just that there's nothing to do. All the starter mission did was get me excited for the story, the narrative, not really the gameplay. The strike had one cool part and the PvP about put me to sleep when streaming it today and I was even doing well. If I'm doing well in a shooter and I'm live streaming and I'm talking to people and I'm playing and I still just kind of want to turn it off because I'm bored, that's not a problem with me for not playing with friends, that's a problem with the game for being boring, repetitive, stale, depthless. A big reason a lot of people don't like Call of Duty is that it doesn't have the same depth as other shooters. It's very much so hop on and play. And even I have said with Advanced Warfare, I will only play it with friends. I will only play it to hang out with friends. 
one of the things I started doing is playing Black Ops 3 on PC. Do you know why? Because my friend bought it for me and he wanted to play it with me. That's why I was playing it. He made it better. So I'm not saying games can't be made better by friends. I'm saying a game's fun factor should not be relying on you having all of your buddies online. Here's a personal note for me. If I'm trying to get gameplay in Battlefield or Call of Duty or some shooter, let's just say I'm hopping on to get gameplay for a shooter and I'm frustrated, I'm not having any fun, I will oftentimes ask somebody to be in the party with me, whether it's my, my friends or my girlfriend, I will get somebody in the party to hang out with and talk to while I play. And that makes the experience better. But those games are not saying, hey, you better have your friends online, otherwise this will not be a fun experience. That would be a game I don't want to spend my money on. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you only play certain games with your friends and certain games by yourself? Are some games a little bit more versatile? Do you think some games are really good, but only if you play them with friends? And if somebody's going to play it, they should play with friends? I think that's dumb. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's lazy. Like I said, friends sitting on a front porch with you is fun. So yeah, obviously if you play a game you're not into with your best friends, yeah, you're going to enjoy your time more. Of course. You guys can at least complain about the game together. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you when I see you. Goodbye!